What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys a way to fix your window switches for free. And yeah, I know, I said it for free, like, as if. But, it actually works. I've seen a video on it, because lately I've had this problem too, to where my windows roll down fine, except for my passenger window. I'm clicking it now, it doesn't want to roll down until I smash it down. Finally it does it. And uh, yeah, so uh, main thing is you got to make sure it is the switch and not the regulator or your motor or anything. Now one quick easy way to tell if it's just your switch and not your regulator or your window motor is just go on the driver's side, test them all. Obviously it is the passenger window that is having the problems. Now go to your passenger side and obviously the switch is working just fine. So it's the switch that has the problem. Now that you know it's just the window switch that's having the problem, what you want to do is you just want to go under on this handle, go from the bottom to the top, peel this off, and you take a 10 millimeter ratchet and socket, just loosen up the bolts. Once you have the bolts loosened, you just take it off. Not careful because these will fall out. You just set it aside. Now since you have the handle off, this is pretty easy. It just pops right out. So once you have this out, what you want to do is there's just two little clips right here, very easy to take out. You just gotta have a button to press. Once that is out, you can see there's two different colors. So this black piece is what you really want out. So what you're gonna get to get it out is just a flathead screwdriver. Just pry that in there. And what helps me is if I push out while I'm prying, it helps it not get stuck again. But you may have some difficulties. There we go. All right, now we have it out. Now when you take this apart, it's just like how you took it out previously. Uh, there's just these, um, the clips here again. Now it's the same process, but instead of just two on each side, it's three on each side. So it's a little bit more trickier as far as getting it out. Okay, uh, it just came out. So what you have here is just a switch panel, or the switches. Just plastic, they sound really cheap to be honest. But uh, right here, this is just for your driver's side. It's uh, like a switch connector. And here's the plastic um, cover. I'm not too sure the name of this. I know it just has the connectors, which are these uh, goldish looking things. And here's the base for it, and this is where all the uh, circuits complete when you press down on the uh, buttons. I don't know how well you guys can see this on the camera, but if you look, this is the passenger side. That one looks a little more darker than the rest. All that's on there is corrosion. Now the other ones, I mean, they have some corrosion, but it's not a big deal. I may just get them off anyways. But there is pretty heavy corrosion, especially when I try to press the button down for the window to go down. So uh, what you want to do, you got to be very careful just so you don't mess it up, uh, is just take something flat. I have a flathead screwdriver here and just scrape off the corrosion. Again, just be careful. You don't want to mess it up any more than it already is. See, it's coming off fairly easy. What's great too is you're scoring it as well, so it's helping the connection. Now, I don't know how well you can see it now, but I knocked most of the corrosion off of this board. I think that's a technical term for it, I'm not too sure. Not only do we have the corrosion on the board, like I said previously, but we also have corrosion on the buttons. On the underside, you can see it's uh, not as uh, shiny as it should be. Like uh, these on the bottom, very little corrosion. On top, especially on that passenger one, there's quite a bit. So I'm gonna try, you gotta be careful just so you don't scrape it off completely as far as uh, the, the metallic piece. But uh, you just try to get the best you can, the corrosion off. All right, now that we got everything clean, hopefully it's gonna have a good connection. Now we just put everything back together. And this only goes on one way, so you won't mess it up. All right, there we go. So now that you have this on, you just take that cross connector of the driver's side window switch, put that on there. You just make sure it's gonna line up right. Just put it on there. And everything should just come together. 
There we go. Yeah. Just click it, make sure everything works. Everything seems like it's working. So now it's time to plug it in just to make sure it's working. All right, so what you're gonna do, just as a testing measure, just plug it back in. Plug both of the plugs back in. Then you're gonna turn on the key. And then test to make sure everything's working, including, and look at that. Passenger window is working 100% fine now. Before I'd have to slam it down, hit it really hard. No, it's actually pretty surprised it worked, to be honest. I know the video I watched about it, it worked pretty flawlessly, but you never know in those videos. So now that you have everything fixed, just clamp it back together, put everything back in. There you go, everything's fine and dandy. All right, so the video is basically done. Everything is done, took me about 30 minutes even filming. So without it, I would say it would take about 15 minutes to complete this. But as you can see, everything is free, except for the tools, uh, but everyone should have those tools. Those are just basic tools. So the uh, video is over. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next video.